good day crafty chums and welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to this hashtag be our guest event in honour of Beauty and the Beast um, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to have a go at making a dress for Belle I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be a wedding dress or just her iconic yellow dress in the ball scene I don't know yet but what I do know is that I'm ripping up some book paper and all you book purists out there, don't worry, it's not a first edition, it's just a cheap book club copy that I got at a, my second hand store and I've read the book and uh, and now I'm just going to be reusing the book in this uh, little dressmaking tutorial. Now uh, I'll link to other people taking part in this event and I'll do it in the description box below or in an i-card at the end. This is going to take me um, several days to get through but of course obviously I will have uh, shortened the video considerably <laughs> for ease of viewing because <laughs> you wouldn't want me to do it in real time and you spend just days seeing what on earth is this woman doing. So <laughs> without further ado <laughs> book paper and glue here yeah. of course so what I'm going to do first of all is make a cute little book paper bodice on my uh, on my little doll as a starting point It all has to start somewhere, doesn't it? The last time I did this I made a horrible mess. So I'm hoping not to be as mucky mucky as I was last time, but you can't help it with this technique. It's, uh, it's just what's going to happen. <laughs> So um, what I'm going to do next of course is get my doll and put some plastic wrap around her not for any nefarious purposes but uh, just so that the um, I can get the book paper off again once I've actually moulded it to her shape to make a nice little dress and This is a uh, doll that I um, got in a second hand shop as well. It's a much loved one as you can tell by the uh, by the um, I think she some little girls tried to put eyeshadow on there or something eyeshadow and lipstick so it, she's been drawn on <laughs> and that's probably why she ended up in the second hand shop Now I could um, actually uh, take her arms off and things but I'm not going to because people take arms off and heads off and that and I just think it's a little bit mean <laughs> a bit cruel even though it's only a doll it just seems like a little bit of cruelty to me <laughs> so I don't normally do that so just wrapping that I can form a nice shape around as well. I was thinking about giving her shoulder straps but I just may not. <laughs> I'm also going to come down her legs a little bit so this there
So I'm getting on with the um, first layer and as you can see I'm coming around the uh, front of the dress and the side of the dress. It's just a matter of um, putting it on and then f just forming it to a shape and you have to keep going back because you know it lifts a little bit so you have to go back and pop it down again so you just keep forming and moulding and, uh, and that's what you do form it and mould it until it all sticks down nicely and when I finish this off then I'll just come back and show you and that will be the first layer and then that has to dry <laughs> so so as you can see I'm just working on the back now and uh, when you work on the back it's always good to just try and leave yourself just a little little gap at the back to make cutting of the dress off a little bit easier so um, that's what I'm doing here is making a uh, just trying to get things to straighten up and um, just to make it easier to take off when it's all dry so that's the first layer basically down just have to go around as it's drying and just push a few little edges down and things that's okay so um, I'll be back when that's dry and then when we put on the second coat okay so we've got the first layer on and um, it's dry now so I'm going to put on a second layer and I had to just put a little bit of the um, paper across the back just to hold that down because um, it was coming up so uh, I'm just going to snip through that and then because I don't want it to be because I'm going to put a second layer on I don't want it to be too hard to take off the dress after I'll probably put another strip across there as well but um, not yet <laughs> so going back in again and just putting on another layer of book paper and glue this is PVA glue a PVA glue and I've actually watered it down just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with but you'll find your own strength in that that you want to use and I'm just going to go around again with the um, book paper making sure that I've got any holes and that covered in and again it's just a matter of laying down forming forming to um, the shape of your doll and uh, carrying on like that it's just a slow process so I'll be back when I've done this part well
okay so this is my uh, finished bell dress or my interpretation of bell's dress and I uh, hope you like it um, I just wanted to come back and add that um, to help it stand I've just popped a little bit of a uh, chipboard on the bottom and uh, just so that um, she'll stand uh, up a little bit better although she does stand on the chopsticks um, she actually stands much better <laughs> with those little uh, extra base on there so um, that was all this is uh, I hope you um, like the hashtag event that we've got for Beauty and the Beast and that you check out all the other videos which I'll have a link for either in the description box below or I'll put an eye card up um, I don't know which we're doing yet <laughs> I've finished this of course way before we get the videos out um, so I don't know which way we'll be doing it yet um, but uh, I hope you uh, go and check out all of the other uh, artists that are taking part as well and um, enjoy Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I know I will. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.